In this video, I'm going to show you how to do rotoscoping from A to Z in Adobe After Effects. Hey, what's up? My name is Ines Alea, and I'm a visual artist running my own YouTube channel where I educate people on how to do visual effects. So what is rotoscoping exactly? Well, rotoscoping is the art of masking something out on a video. So anything that is masked out is basically rotoscoping. So you have many, many ways of rotoscoping in Adobe After Effects. For this tutorial, we will be using footage from Storyblocks high quality royalty free library. The reason why I enjoy Storyblocks so much is because you can save valuable time with their huge selection of curated and professional footage, templates, music and sound effects. Plus, with one of their flexible subscriptions, you get the freedom of an unlimited library for one set price, with no hidden fees. I'm going to download this clip in a 4K ProRes format, because I found that ProRes recordings actually give you way more detail, and because Storyblocks actually provides these two options, I'm going to choose the higher option here. The next thing that we will need is something to replace our sky width, so I will find another file on Storyblocks, and I found this really cool star field. I'm going to be importing these files in Adobe After Effects, but I can also access the entire Storyblocks library directly within After Effects with the Storyblocks for After Effects plugin. I'm going to drag my astronauts here into a new composition. So the first way of rotoscoping these out is actually using masks. I'm going to do something very similar, but I'm going to be using Mocha AE, which comes with an After Effects, but that will make this masking process way easier than before. So what we're going to do is click on our footage and we're going to add the Mocha AE effect. I'm going to open it by clicking on the logo, making sure that your resolution here is set to full. We're going to click then again on the logo and that will start Mocha AE. I'm going to zoom in by holding Z on the keyboard and then click and dragging. And then I'm going to zoom in on the helmet and I'm going to use the X-Spline tool right here. And I'm going to click and just keep clicking to expand the mask around the helmet and then right click to finalize your mask. Then I'm going to hold Ctrl and press A on the keyboard and drag these in a little bit to make them more rounded. And then again, make final adjustments to make sure that it looks all right. And once you're satisfied with the first frame, we can actually just click track forward. And now you will see that it's taking the motion and it's just being tracked on there. We don't have to do anything. And whenever we see a little error, we just pause our playback and we just refine our mask. Again, you can do this for the entire timeline. I'm not going to do that because this is it's just a tutorial, but then you want to rename this to helmet. Then you want to de-check the gear icon and you want to create another X-spline, which in this case is going to be the body. So now I'm just going to make a mask around the body. Again, you can do your entire roto like this until you have every part of the body covered. And again, it's going to take quite a bit of time, but it's going to be a lot faster and better than the original masking technique. Now for the fastest method to do rotoscoping, we simply want to use our Rotobrush tool 2.0 in Adobe After Effects, which is using artificial intelligence and your GPU to actually perform a lot faster. All you have to do is click on this tool, double click on your footage and just draw whatever you see like this. Make sure that you're on the first frame of your timeline. That's going to give you the best results. So you can just drag and paint on top of your person or hold Alt to remove parts of the mask. And once you have done the first frame, you can just go frame by frame and continue your animation see where you have mistakes and adjust them where needed. So once you're done with your entire roto, you can click this freeze button, which is going to freeze the entire mask and it's going to make your scene run a lot smoother. Then we can go back to our final video, see our roto right here, and we can see that the edges are not that clean yet. So we can play with all these settings right here. So all you have to do from here is just duplicate your video clip and delete your roto brush on the first one, so we actually see our background. Then if we're going to add a scene in between these two layers, we're going to see that we can see the roto and we can place it behind our actor in the sky, for example, so we can scale it and then mask it out, for example. And like this, you would create a different look of sky. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to Storyblocks and check out other videos in this playlist. And click the link in the description below to learn more about their subscription plans.